Oh my gosh, Daya, so good to see you. So good to see you. We're here on Polk Street, uh, Bob's Donuts, which is a San Francisco institution. Oh. If it's an institution, I want to be institutionalized. So I had one of those giant donuts one time for a birthday. Yeah. And they gave me like this big box, but we didn't get any knives or forks. Yeah. So they just put it out on the birthday table and people started using just their hands. hands just to like to, to eat the birthday donut, which in 2022 is considered Real. medieval. But I kind of miss the Wild West of hand yeah. food. So look, we're at Bob's. We're on Polk Street. Mm. I have my good friend. Mm. Uh, his name is Kai. He has this amazing Kai. bicycle. Oh. Mm. This is a Beckshaw. It's from Indonesia. And I have an idea. Let's take our bicycle, our Beckshaw. Let's take our Bob's. Let's go to the Buena Vista Cafe. Yes. Let's get some Irish coffee. Yes. Let's ride around. Let's go to Fisherman's Wharf. Let's go to the Ferry Building because it's San Francisco and we're having a day. Hey there. This is a donut. This is a bicycle, and I'm a comedian. Welcome to Comedians on Bicycles. We're visiting some of San Francisco's favorite spots on bicycles, of course, with some funny and interesting folks. So come along for the ride. Well, bye, Bob's Donuts. Bye, Bob's. So, Daya. Yes, please. How did you come to San Francisco and how did you become, I would say, a stalwart in the comedy scene here? Thank you for asking me that. Stalwart sounds so powerful. You are powerful. You work out, too. So, literally. <laughs> yeah. I worked out this morning so I could have donuts and alcohol. My San Francisco story yeah, is I moved to San Francisco from the East Coast for a job. Okay. And I had been living in Boston. Okay. Which is snowy and yes. wintry and I and I loved it. Uh-huh. And I'd lived there for so long. I wanted a change. So I came out here and the first couple of years were hard. I hear you there. It was it was hard finding an apartment dealing with landlords. Can we get an amen? Hitting on men who were friendly to me and then they were like, oh honey, I'm gay. I started getting involved in local politics because coming here from Boston, yeah. I felt like a, a right winger because I was like, can people not be naked on the bus? And people were like, oh, you're an oppressor. You came out to San Francisco mm -hmm. for a job. I'm gonna go on a, a limb and say that job wasn't comedy. It was not comedy. Okay. It was the opposite of comedy, okay. which should be tragedy, yes. which, which I also define as being a management consultant. <laughs> and I got through it by being the funny person in the office. On the Jewish scale of Harry, I'm not that Harry. Okay. But on the human scale of Harry, I am. Okay. You know? And so the sweat is an issue sometimes. Okay. You know? Yeah. I mean, I think it's normal. Like, you know, pigs don't sweat. Really? That's why they have to roll in the mud because they I don't have sweat that. glands. I don't eat pigs. Yeah. I'm vegetarian. Yeah. 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 I, I like them a lot, though. San yeah. Francisco International Airport has an emotional support pig. No. Yes. What's the name? Uh, I don't know, but the owner yeah. is a Russian lady that lives in Knob Hill. I freaking love that. And so she goes around town yeah. with the emotional support pig. I saw her at the Fairmont one year. Oh my and gosh. And the Fairmont is so snobby, but if you have an emotional support pig, they'll let you they'll in. They'll let you in easy? Wow. Yeah. If you want to be high society, there's one way to do it. Yeah. And that's get a pig. Exactly. Can we take a brief pause? Yes. And admire the view. Beautiful. We are at the beginning of Fisherman's Wharf. Fisherman's Wharf. Oh, there's the Buena Vista, yeah, I which know. I love. I love the Buena Vista. Yeah. We'll continue this conversation after a brief interlude to get yes. some exciting nourishment. We stopped at the Buena Vista Cafe across the street there. Amazing place. Got another San Francisco institution for today. We like to be institutionalized in that way. Absolutely. We're doing Irish coffees. I'm doing the classic. What are you doing? It's called Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey, and it has some kind of ram or sheep on it. And it says, to the misfits, black sheep and screwballs. I think this one's appropriate for yeah, me. Yeah, sure. If you put this on your hands, it'll kill all the germs. So it's, uh, you can hand sanitize. Yeah. And you can also um, drink. Mmm. 
Oh yeah. Wow, I put a lot in. I mean, it's very strong. Do you think it already had peanut butter in there though? What are you tasting, alcohol or peanut butter? Alcohol. Oh, okay. It tastes like in the I'm beginning not... of the pandemic when I was putting hand sanitizer on my face. Wow. And then the CDC said not to do that anymore. So I stopped and I put it only in my nostrils. Mm -hmm. You know those things, the soak tubs? I soaked. In Clorox? Yeah. Chris Cuomo's wife did that. Remember Chris, Chris Cuomo? Vaguely. This is a portion of the show we call, I call, the lightning round. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna ask some questions or some this and that's, and you just tell me what you're this thing or that -ing. Okay, Daya, this or that, okay. sourdough bread no. or ooh, no. baguette. Baguette for sure. Baguette. I'm vehemently against sourdough bread. Ooh. Even though I, I live in San Francisco. Don't like it. Yeah, that's a big <laughs> offense there. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, favorite Muni line. I would have to say the 22 Fillmore. It goes from fancy parts of San Francisco yes. to very uh, working class, color, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, middle class parts of San Francisco. So you meet all different kinds of people. Myer. That bus deserves its own reality television show. It truly does. So uh, I think I'm gonna know the answer to this one. Okay. Uh, Zoom comedy or in-person comedy? 100% in-person comedy. Although Zoom comedy kept us going sure. for so long. So yeah. It's like having a, a, an important relationship in your life that you've outgrown. Yeah. It was just of the time. Yes. And now we're over it. Yes. So thank you, Zoom. Yeah, for... thank you, Zoom, for your, your service. Yeah, and you know, we're moving on. Oh. oh, look at this bike crew. What is happening? Wow. Hey, these people are cool. Bikers. Yeah! Yeah, bikes! Bikes! Hell yeah! Bikes. Hell yeah! Yes! Yes, bikes! Crushing it, y'all! We love bikes! They smell like weed! We have the same semi-profession. Okay. Yeah. I'm not paid ever for comedy. Okay. And I... Well, I'm not getting paid right now, so we're the same. <laughs> Hey, we have provided donuts. The craft services on the show are excellent. Donuts are the cryptocurrency of com comedy. comedy. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Donuts are the cryptocurrency of comedy. So I want to make sure that people know. This past year, you recorded your first album? Last year, in what? October, that's right. October okay. 2021, okay. I recorded my debut album, which is called Daya Tribe, spelled with an H, D-H-A-Y-A Tribe. Yes. The full album is available for download. You can also order vinyl. I could drop the needle on a vinyl of, of you doing comedy? You can, okay. yes. And where can I get it online? So Daya Tribe, you can Google. You can go to my website, diacomedy.com. You can go to Blonde Medicine, which is the label. You can go to Apple Music, iTunes. You can go to Bandcamp. Find it wherever you find music. What are your favorite comedy venues in San Francisco? Oh, thank you for asking. I love these questions. Yes. The best, best place to perform stand-up in the city, in my opinion, mm -hmm. is the punchline, where you came. Yes, it was an amazing venue. What did you like about it as an audience? Okay, I mean, I am a little bit of a San Francisco nerd, and so the, the backdrop on yes. the stage just tugs at my heartstrings. Yes. But yes. I liked how it felt intimate, yet full. Yes. The ridiculous uh, cocktail <laughs> that I got was very good. What was it? What? Uh, oh God. <laughs> you made a face. It came in like a, a commemorative glass. Hilarious. That I got to keep which was very exciting oh, for me as someone yeah. who likes a commemorative of glass. You're lovely. Um, the staff there was super nice. Staff, okay, I need to shout out the yes, staff. Yes, please. Please be nice to the people that work at the comedy club because they are trying to get you drinks as fast as possible. They're being unobtrusive so that you can still tell your jokes and they're yes. not talking to, they have to, balance so many things and they're some of the nicest people in the industry truly the staff that work at the comedy club be nice to them please tip them really well they make my experience there so much better so shout out to and the staff. as an audience they make my experience better which one do you want i definitely want an eclair but we could also share and we could sh we, we could, could share eclair. claire let's eat it like kids do so what kids, how they eat food, okay. they don't open their mouth in time. They first bring the food to the face and then they open the mouth, but it's too late. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be a kid. Okay. I like donuts and kebabs. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen children do that? I have seen children do that. They don't understand timing. Sometimes they eat like this. No, no. Mommy, mommy. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. This one is not very messy though. You gotta squeeze it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm trying to get the cream. You gotta cream your face a little bit more. Mm. I'm, I wouldn't be good at an, um, OnlyFans. You want a donut? No, we're okay. Thank you. Okay, okay. sorry. We're not this strangers. Is, yeah, sorry. We're we didn't win. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. We, we know you. We just ate a cinnamon bun. Oh, good for smart. you. Yeah, okay. Smart kids. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, have a good okay. one. They're, they're smart children, but yeah. I just said I'm not a stranger. And we then they said, said we, we know. know. They don't know. We don't we're know. we're definitely know strangers. We're definitely strangers. We're hundred percent strangers. And they strange. almost took. I'm food never for... gonna see those children again. What was the uh, like worst thing that you did as a kid? Oh my gosh, so many things. I punched my boyfriend when we were three or four years old in the nose, and he bled. Amazing that you were so mature at that age to have a, a significant other. The thing is, I didn't want to be his girlfriend. Yeah, no. He just chose me. And I, I needed to end it somehow, so yeah. I resorted to violence. So I like, also yeah. used to flush money down the toilet. Yeah. I scribbled on walls. Uh huh. I stole baby food from other children because I was jealous of them. But um, you weren't hungry. No. No, you were jealous. Just, just wanted to hurt. Just them. jealousy. Yeah. I once stole a Hanson magazine from where my brothers were getting their haircuts because I had a, a crush on the on the boys of Hanson. But why is that a crime to steal a, a... I stole, I stole a magazine. I've stolen a lot of things. That's not, it's not a big deal. Okay. Daya. Yes. Was this your first time filming on a Beckshaw? 100%, absolutely. I've never done this before. This was great. What was your experience like? It, I had a lot of admiration for Kai, who it, has a, incredible leg strength. I felt very lazy because all I did is consume caffeine, donuts, and alcohol and some baby Pedialyte. So look, everyone, we're here, comedians on bicycles. We have Daya, Bay Area comedy legend, in oh, my opinion. Oh, Bay okay. Area, she is does an amazing, amazing set. Go see her, visit her website, diacomedy.com to see when she has live shows. Uh, and also get her album. Get the album. You can get it on my website or you can Google Daya Tribe on Apple Music or on Bandcamp. Or if you want vinyl, you can order it from the label blondemedicine.com. Imagine being in your house. You have your whiskey in your glass. Mm. You're like, oh, your friend comes over. You're like, I have a very nice comedian. I actually saw him person. And then the record scratches and you drop the needle <laughs> and then you hear Daya's beautiful comedy styling. Thank you. Thank you so much. I Thanks can't... for um, having me yes. as part of this. Thank you to the whole crew. Thank you to Kai. Uh, thank you to Bob's Donuts, uh, Buena Vista, and uh, also to Jane Bakery for providing us with sandwiches. Yeah, that was great. So we got Bob's, we got Buena Vista, we went to the ferry building, we're on a Beckshaw, we're near a bridge, comedians on bicycles with Daya. It's been great seeing everyone today. It's been great hanging out with you. Peace out. See ya. Do it, baby. Say what? Do it tonight. Take your time.